Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export uh, the Revit Advanced Sample Model to Equest using uh, Pollination Revit plugin. Um, I'm not going to talk about the details of how to clean up the model. There are other videos for that. I'm going to focus on what are the important items to export this model to Equest. So I click on Export Model under Pollination tab. I make sure boundary location is set at wall center so we can solve the adjacencies correctly. Then I click on next. Here is the place that you select apertures. I already have the apertures selected. I'm going to select this two missing doors. Next here I have three floors selected and they're all in extruded mode and I have set up the extrusion height and computation height. And step five, we just see the list of rooms. You can select uh, a portion of the room, a section of the rooms, but for now, all the rooms are selected by default. I just go next. And this step, it basically goes through and parses all the rooms first floor, second floor, and then third floor. So, okay, here is an important step before going, uh, moving forward, sorry, before moving forward. And that's that you should click on these settings here and make sure solve adjacency is set to full. Because if set solve adjacency is not set to full, then by default, uh, the Revit plugin doesn't run the solve adjacency. And that means the interior walls and interior floors will be exported as exterior wall and exterior floors. That's not something that you want to happen. So now that I set them to full, I just run a quick uh, test here for visualization to make sure the geometry is clean and the interior walls are basically picked up correctly. So I just click, excuse me, I just click on this I here for preview, and then it will take a few seconds and uh, we should see the preview of the model. Okay, so here's the model. I go quickly here. Let me make this full screen. Click here, go to layers, and then you can see interior walls here and interior floors and ceilings. So I'm going to select everything, holy now shift, and then remove interior walls. And now you can see that interior walls in, in here, and they have been <coughs> picked correctly in, in most cases by, I should say all cases. I mean, this one, if you zoom in, you can see it's because of the aperture uh, in the model. So now that we have all this, I can Go back here, uh, make sure all the rooms are selected. I click on the settings and then click that select all and click on next. Here we have all the shade objects that I have already selected. So I just do a quick preview so you can see the shades. Um, these are the shades around the building, the one in the back and the trees. So let's go next. Here for uh, sensor grades, you can just ignore it when you export to request because they will not be exported. At this level, you have the option to go and change the construction set, but I'm not going to do that. We partially support those, but for program type, we don't support it at this point. We might work on these features if there is enough request and interest. For now, let's export the geometry. So I click on export and then you can see request uh, INP file here so we can save it here and overwrite the existing file and it should take a few seconds and we should have all the rooms exported okay so all the rooms are exported um, let's go to equest and open this new file that I saved here. Uh, this is this doesn't look right because this is only one kilobyte. So let's see. Oh, this is not the one. So I saved it in Equest folder. 
if you change this to INP, so this is the file. Sorry about that. Don't save this one. Uh, uh, we still have to make the name shorter. Sorry about that. It's for equals to be happy. So I'm going to remove all this clean stuff at the end. Okay, and overwrite. So now it should start importing all the components from the model that we just exported from Revit. Okay, this is on the other screen. Here we go. So now, excuse me, all the 41,000 or was it 4,100? So all the elements are here. You can see level 0, level 1, level 2. So all the levels are imported here. All the rooms are here. All the shades are here. You can see in 3D. One thing to just, oh, so I'm sorry, okay. to make sure. I mean, yeah, I, I have a hard time to find my way in. Equest, but Equest does not support uh, non-rectangle apertures, and the plugin tries to, you see, break them down in a smaller rectangles. Like you can see it here, and you can see it here. So this is something that you can fix in your Revit model, or if you're using Rhino, fix in your Rhino. But there is an automated uh, workflow we already have in place to do that. So let's go ahead and just make sure. The um, interior walls are set correctly, so I'm going to turn off exterior walls. I'm going to uh, turn off roofs and ceilings and exterior floors and say OK. And now you see all of them has been exported uh, correctly, and these are set all to interior. So and you can see the ground, the ones that are next to ground, they're set to ground. Okay, I, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and it was helpful to understand the whole process. I think the most important part is on step one, make sure in step one you set it to the walls to be at the center of the wall. And then step six, make sure you run the solve adjacency or is it step five? Uh, six. Uh, make sure you run the solve adjacency before exporting the model to eQuest. The rest uh, should be pretty straightforward. Thank you so much for watching and let us know if you have any questions. The best place for posting your questions is Pollination Discourse Forum, which is discourse.pollination.cloud. Thank you so much and see you online.